Good morning from Anderson Forge on this 29 November 2018. Uh, this knife was just about to get stuck into its box to be shipped before I realized I hadn't done a video on it and I certainly hope people don't get tired of all my videos. I do, I like to have a record of it in addition to photographs. I like to have the, the, the video and um, customers enjoy it. So I do, I, that's why I do these videos. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm getting this out to a fellow who is anxious to take this on a camping trip with him. And it's something I long time called my SOB, which stands for Short Occasional Bowie. It's um, sort of a mid, mid-size affair. Um, this one, just for the record, is, I didn't know right off the top of my head, just under, uh, it's an eighth of an inch under seven inches, so six and seven eighths. So they, they range anywhere from like six and a half to eight inches, depending on how things go. But um, anyway, it's a, not quite a Bowie, so I call it a short occasional Bowie. It's a SOB. Anyway, this is a random, random Damascus. Um, I don't know how the lighting is doing on this today. Kind of always kind of hard to see how things come out. Um, and this is what I call a utility grade desert ironwood. Hard as a rock and will last probably forever, yet it's not the real expensive ironwood burl. So anyway, I, I really enjoy it. I got four or five blocks this summer from Mike Blaskovitz of uh, Wood Lab. And uh, anyway, let's take down. We can see how things line up on this knife. Should be pretty decent. And this guard, I hope we can see the fit and finish on this guard. And notice the finish, particularly on the guard. It is untouched by my hands. It is completely machine finished. Yet, I spent a lot of time kind of dialing in small wheel, soft platen, slack belt, etc. And it is just a really nice finish that a, a person doesn't need to be real concerned about. Um, you know, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on handwork and details only for it to be abused. So this is a utility grade SOB. So anyway, a lot of yakking for nothing. Not nothing, but anyway, do a quick takedown. It's 351 layers, 1095, 15 and 20. And I always like to point out in my videos that when taking these things apart, don't just pull every, just don't just go yanking, but I like to put my thumb somewhere here. I'm putting, since this has a high low lug on the guard, I want to put my finger and my thumb and push off push the handle off, pull the handle off, then pull the guard off. Here we can see the little more detail on this guard. It's got some oil on it. And this is our this is our tang. Threaded 1032. Boy, it is oily. Look at my finger. I was just, like I said, I was just getting this thing ready to ship out couple uh, stainless alignment pins and boy is she snug fit matter of fact it almost takes the the thing as sharp as can be I just can't grab that blade and yank this on there I got the pin started so I actually use the uh, the finial itself to finish snugging things up and like I always say, it's not a, this isn't a lug nut on an F-250 dually. It's just a 1032 thread, but I crank her tight and mm -hmm. this knife's ready to go. Anyway, ready to go camping. And uh, thanks for indulging me, everybody. I hope, I hope you don't tire of my videos.